Okay, so we have, here we have map tool, and um, I want to make a map out of a Sunless Citadel campaign. So what I've done is I've went ahead and, um, in this case, I've downloaded it. You can actually scan the module in if you want to. Um, it takes a while, so I just find it's easier to download one off the internet. You find your own source, and I can tell you how to find that. But if you scan it in yourself, <clears throat> you want to do a like a three to six hundred DPI, do OCR on it, so you can actually. Um, get some text because you may want to copy and paste some text out of it as well. But I'm going to do the grow level map. So we're going to make this um, relatively big. We're going to say 200% um, uh, and we're going to where is that at? Um, snapshot tool and we're going to copy this whole thing here. Like that. It's been copied, and we're going to launch um, Adobe Photoshop. And file new, untitled is fine. Paste that in there. File, save as. We'll make it a JPEG for now into our Sunless Citadel folder, and we'll call it Grow Level Map. And it's a scan because it's we don't you know what the size of it is yet. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Not anymore. So here's our JPEG. Um, we're gonna add that into our asset list. And it was okay. There's a map. So we'll go to background, we'll drag our map in here, get a grid going, and as you can tell, the grid that's there is actually pretty close, um, but not quite perfect. And I'm going to show you how to um, resize the map in Photoshop so that it fits into the background quite nicely and you don't have to worry about editing things. So we're just going to delete this guy, and so here's our JPEG of the grow level map. We're going to zoom into it and see how big these pixels really are. So we're going to grab the selection tool, we're going to grab a square, and it is 23 pixels I think, let me make sure I got that right. Um, units. Uh, pixels. Yeah, pixels, rulers, pixels. Okay. So that's 23. <clears throat> and we want those to be 50. So if we roughly double it, we'll get about to the size we need. So we're going to double the size of this. Um, image size, uh, percent, 200 percent. Grab a square again, and we're close to 50. That's good enough for now. And the other thing we need to do is sometimes it gets skewed, um, but well, let's do a grid first. So make sure our grid is 50 pixels. And that is not our grid file. Preferences, guides, and grids. There we go. So 50 pixels. We don't need any subdivisions. We'll pick a color we can see. And we need to show the bit and show the grid. Okay, there we go. Now, if we go in here, we got a cool grid overlay. And we're going to um, increase the size of our uh, canvas. And we'll basically just double the size. Um, so three will make us six thousand pixels. Okay. And now we're gonna see if the skew is good or not. So we'll just pick something, we'll center that in the grid, 
And we're just checking to see if the um, horizontal and vertical lines are good. So we're going to scan down here and make sure Oh, it skews a little bit. You can see that at the very bottom, this vertical line is not equal to our grid. So we're going to change our skew. So the way I do it, I'm no Photoshop expert, but I can get the job done. Um, grab, I need to show my bounty box. So there's a bounty box. Now if you go to the side here, you can actually rotate the whole map. Well, we're going to rotate it just a little bit um, until we can get our um, vertical line and horizontal line uh, lined up. So, let's see, can we do this without too much difficulty? It's hard to see everything. Huh? Uh, about, yeah, okay. <coughs> So we're going to move this over to here. Put that guy right in the center. Now we're going to rotate our skew. Actually, we want to rotate around the center. So where's our center at? There's our center. So we'll take that as our center. Well, I guess we can move our center. I didn't know that. Uh, right there, and make that our center. And we want to rotate counterclockwise just a little bit. So we're going to rotate just a little bit counterclockwise. A little more counterclockwise. Probably a better way to do this, but I don't know how. That looks pretty good, actually. It's good enough. <clears throat> okay, now our vertical lines should also be pretty well done. And they are. I have a little checkbox up here, and that locked into place. Now the next thing to do is resize our map to fit <coughs> perfectly on here. So we'll just zoom in here a little bit and we'll center this into a grid. Okay, and then we'll look and we'll see that the squares are a little too small. So we'll increase the size of that a little bit. And we'll go back over here and recenter it in the grid. And our squares are well, actually our squares left and right are pretty close. So we'll check vertical. And our vertical is a little small, so we need to make our vertical a little bigger. And um, it looks like it's still a little small, so a little more on the vertical. Half of one of those. And a little more on the vertical. And recenter our grid. And it looks like it's a little, well, hold on here, it's a little, oh wow, it's actually pretty close. So our horizontal looks pretty consistent. Oh, no, we need a little bit more horizontal. We'll recenter some on our grid. Check our horizontal again. Pretty good. Our vertical is uh, just a little bit off here, but I'm not sure. I think we're going to be good enough. We're going to call that a win. Uh, you can spend more time with this. You can adjust the skew a little more. You can get absolutely crazy with it. But I'm not going to worry about that for now. Uh, we'll put this back on the screen. Now we're going to crop this thing. And uh, 
let's see, I want to make sure it snaps to a grid. Oops. So shift makes it the same size, don't care about that. Control snaps it to a grid. So you want to snap to our grid, so we'll hold the control key down. Okay, that's not too bad. We don't need all that extra top piece. Maybe we don't need the extra bottom piece. Okay, so we're holding the control key down, it's going to snap it to a 50 pixel grid. That way when you drop it in the map tools, it'll line up perfectly if you say snap to grid. We'll check on that. And we'll get rid of our grid so I can see what's going on. Doesn't look too bad. We are going to make it a grayscale. Oh, it already is a grayscale. And we're going to save it as um, a JPEG again. Only this time, instead of the scan, we're going to call it 50px for 50 pixels. Okay, now we'll come back to Map Tools and we'll click off and back onto Sunless Citadel. We've got two of them here. One of them is our adjusted one. I'm not sure which is which. Grow a little map 50 pixels. This guy here. And we'll drag onto our background. And then we'll say Snap to Grid. And it should. And look at that. Our grid is pretty darn close on, isn't it? It's a little off. If you want to go back and fix it, you could, but I'm pretty happy with that. So that's how you resize a map in Photoshop to be worked with uh, map tools. Uh, the other thing I like to do for this type of map, let me delete this, is I'm going to say map, new map, and I'm actually going to say, let's just say on um, Grove, and we'll actually pick a map from here. And we'll change the background to be not quite black and the fog to be not quite black. And this gives you more of a constrained map. Um, it's I don't know which is better. I'm kind of new to map tools, um, but I, the constrained map probably doesn't use as much memory. Um, but if you're an outdoor map where people are going to wander off the map, you definitely don't want to do this. But for an indoor map, this works pretty well. If you continue to part two, I'll show you how you can um, fix these maps up um, a little bit more to look nicer and to put in some uh, visible line blocking.